Ooh, I think it's causing... It's definitely running in 4K, I could feel it. Oh yeah, it's having some wall world, baby. You got here just as I finished playing our wall world for like three hours. <laughs> it's good though. I, I recommend wall world. Rim world versus dwarf fortress. Dwarf fortress all the way. Like dwarf fortress can be whatever you want it to be, honestly. All right, as long as you got to see something. Your word hint is you found out the word earlier, didn't you? <laughs> Remember when we felt we had it solved? But if you missed it, your hints are Bulbasaur is probably one of these. Uh, bulb bearing plants, plants that generate bulbs, perennials. That's all of your hints. I don't think I need this bad boy to be. Uh... Oh, no. Well, we'll see if it runs in, in 4K full screen. If it has problems, we'll have to window it. Keep my eye on the uh, average time to render frames here. False removal of iteration 639893 requested. A waiting response. Force removal request accepted. Removal 20%, 40, 60, 80, 100. Hello. Set up a new environment. Save. Set up 20%, 37. I'm not going to read any more of this out loud. You, you, you can read it. You, you have ice. Therion, what's up? The experiment is ready to begin. <coughs> Welcome back, specimen. It's good to see you again. You may be experiencing issues with your cognitive systems. I'll need to check that you're operating nominally. Checking vitals, checking DNA assimilation rate, checking iteration cycle. Everything seems to be in order. Let's run a few tests to make sure that your directives are working. This is, in fact, a bit of a sci-fi Hades, you might say. We're going from one game that was clearly inspired by one game to another game clearly inspired by another game. Perform four evasions to proceed. Introducing Simple Threat. Perform two immune system deflections to proceed. Some projectiles can't be deflected. Perform two immune system deflections to proceed. All right, we're going to send those out much earlier, it looks like, for this one. Introducing simple threat. Eliminate threat to proceed. The current specimen is capable of deflecting own weapon. Deflect your boomerang three times to proceed. <laughs> Non-standard specimen behavior. The specimen's active ability charges while in combat. Eradicator's ability allows you to throw two boomerangs for a period of time. Activate the ability to throw both boomerangs to proceed. RT, RB, RB. Introducing a new mutation into the environment. Interact with the mutation to proceed. Deflective swiftness. Deflecting three or more projectiles restores a dash charge. Virus projectiles. Deflecting projectiles ricochet, hitting one additional enemy and dealing damage based on deflect attribute. Virus projectiles. When this mutation damages an enemy, it has a chance to apply. Oh, there's a lot of trees here. We got icy, fire, weakness, poison. Neat. Boomerang, flex shield. Initiating incremental threat test. Eliminate all threats to proceed.
<sighs> Very good at aiming, I see. Initiating incremental threat test. Yeah, the tutorial is the tutorial. Like, I'm not going to judge it until we're playing the real game, because, like, what are we looking at? We're looking at a square. Specimen cleared for field testing. Everything seems in order. Let's put your skills to the test. Go check on Oogles. The water bear has gotten rather attract attached to you, so she'll be helping you navigate through the zones. Oh, sweet lord. Wait, are we teeny tiny? I think we're teeny tiny. Great job, specimen. You're on your own now. I won't interfere with the experiment from now on. Don't worry, I'll be waiting for you in the hub as soon as you get back. Growth, mutation source, cell extraction, upgrade, cell exchange, nest, safe point. Yeah, we are. We are. We are teeny tiny. We're in an inner space situation, aren't we? Ride the water bear. Some nice industrial EDM. Whoa, water bear! Give a man some warning! Exterminate all threats to obtain a core attribute. I'm curious, like, we seem to have picked up 55 something and 25 something. I wonder if that's meta money or if we get to play that in some other way. What is this? Increase your attack attribute, which deflects the damage you deal with your attacks. Increase your deflect, which increases the damage you deal with deflected projectiles. I'm gonna take that one. 10% more deflect. Whoa! Just scoops you up. Alright, either of these are basically the same. Something different happens after this. I like the soundtrack. Keep the boomerang going. The camera's very responsive, which I am pro. It might be weird for watching, but like for playing a game, I want immediate like, what's there? What's there? What's there? Like, it's like fa a game about moving fast and doing fast things. So I need the camera to also be fast. So no complaints from me on that end. This is a not out yet game, or if it's early access. Deflecting turret. Every six deflects, the deflecting turret is summoned that deflects projectiles passing through its radius. Or next enemy hit with your primary weapon after you deflect takes bonus damage based on your attack attribute. Mm. Kind of harsh for viewing. That's understandable. You wish there was more color. I'm curious. Like we are only in the first area. I imagine things will change as we go. Time to uninstall. We, we got hit. <laughs> I just love the water fair. <laughs> Get some rest and restore your health here. We've taken one point of damage. I think we could avoid that. But at the same time, I'm kind of curious. Like, we haven't seen this. So let's go here. We don't need it. Oh my god, can we pet the water bear? 
No, it's just a travel button. Well, there's one heal. Boss fight? Hello. Have projectiles. My whole thing is deflection. Come on. There we go. And then I dodged. I dashed instead by mistake. Come on, you're a chump. I need bullets. And again, I dashed instead. I want to see my turrets. I wonder how long runs are. Like, it's a very snappy, quick game. I, I would hope that it's relatively quick, short runs. Introducing a new virus sample to experimental environment. Oh, what? What do we do here? Yep, that's me. One, two, three, four, five. It looks like there might be five other character types you could play as. It only just dawned on me, the vignette is like you're supposed to be looking through a microscope. <gasps> you can pet the water bear! All right. That's all that mattered. 10 out of 10 game, it lets you pet the water bear. Welcome back. It looks like your bio shell handled it well. I'm sure you have a lot of questions. Let me give you a little overview. I am Deflector, an artificial intelligence tasked with taking care of this place and making sure that the experiments are running smoothly. And that includes helping you. Your main objective is to destroy the source of the virus, which has spread throughout the different areas that we have available. I will provide you with all the support you need to increase your chances of success after each failed iteration. That is all the information I can share for now. It's time to start the experiment. Oh, we got here in survival chamber. We have to do. There are two unlockable modes, but we got to do the standard for now. This is the hub. From here, you'll be able to explore all the zones affected by the virus. Explore them in any order. Every world provides you with different challenges. Also, don't forget, you're fighting a living organism. That means that after you've cleared one zone, it can affect another, making it harder. So plan your route. Deflectors a top-down action roguelite set in a deadly microcosm. Dive deep into hostile worlds teeming with viruses. We're teeny tiny. We get three pickups, or do I have to choose one? There's someone we could talk to? Hello, specimen. I am on duty, looking for a lost bio shell. Can you help me? Great. Why don't you take a look behind the blood waterfall? You can start from there. I'm oh, sorry, blood waterfall? <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Deflect four projectiles for a shield. Oh man! I should really find out what the colors mean so I can make choices a little bit differently. Living entrails! Magnetic fields! Toxic sea! The Hollow Hive. I mean, I'm going for the entrails. So that first thing we did was the test area. <coughs> there you go. It looked boring because it was a test zone. Now we're inside stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, long time no see. So you're looking for the missing bio shell. I haven't seen it, but I know a spot where you might want to take a look. In the giant spider's hideout. After you defeat it, look for a glowing mushroom, like these ones around here, and walk toward them. Might seem impossible, but there's actually a path. 
<laughs> what is that? Oh, he's cooking, I think. He's got like a rotating spit. That's cute. And this is very clearly a Dark Souls reference here. We got a little pyre with a, a sword in it. There's no ends. Yeah, yeah, this is the blood waterfall we were told to look behind. Yeah, we want that sword. Exterminate all threats to obtain a core attribute. Several cell samples. I want a core attribute. Enemies explode when they die. It's a very gooey level. Increase your attack attribute, which affects the damage. Increase your deflect. I like deflect. Starting to warm up. Now that we're past the introductory zone, like we clearly are going to have colorful worlds to explore. Whoa. Room affected by an anomaly, proceed with caution. I mean, I want to see stuff. I'm here to see new stuff. Lose some health. Oh, I didn't see what it said after that. What is this? Is this a good thing? Oh, we could just button. Give me more things to deflect. I crave deflection. Ooh! <laughs> just huck the beach ball at him. Deflect burst. Every few seconds, a mark will appear underneath you. Deflecting in this direction deals damage based on your deflect attribute in a cone-shaped area. Or, when struck by your primary weapon, enemies have a chance to release an explosion, dealing damage based on your attack attribute. Like the guitar sting at the beginning of the stage. Interesting. Uh, we've been taking a bunch of deflecties, but I kind of like this one. Just blowing people up. Cool, cool. Take me, water bear! Alright, looking at... Looking at what I'm covering, I now realize. I'm covering the, uh... <clears throat> the key for the map. Maybe I should... I need to be playing. Well, we'll decide where my camera's going in a second. But let me think about this map. Growth is the up arrows. Cell extractions, the gooey things in front of us. And then the little, like, pointy-headed thing, obviously, are great virus elite fights. A heart's a safe space, and a stopwatch is an upgrade. And then altars are cell exchanges, whatever that means. Probably a shop. I tried to move back into his bullet to deflect it. Allowing myself to take damage. Oh, the yellow ones can't be deflected! Alright, bottom right is a thing I could turn on. So maybe we don't want to cover up the bottom right. Because during combat, that's the only thing on screen that's important. Alright, I got a heal opportunity right here, which we should probably take. We did take a little, a little bump on the noggin there. And now, an upgrade. Oh, we have to actually win a fight to get the upgrade! Yeah, every time we run out of dash charges. Thing is, the enemies aren't so tough on the stage that I need to dash. So that won't be a problem. Attack attributes. Increase deflect attribute. Let's get an attack. We've already taken a deflect. Whee! 
And now this is an elite fight. Or I guess a mini boss, maybe. Ooh. Little tentacle friends. Come on, big boy. Kind of hoping we can make them bump into each other. Oh, guess I should dash through this. There's my deflect shields. That's procking well. Whoop. Did we kill one of them? Looks like he just left. Get ricked. He logged out for the night. He's like, ah, whatever. I gotta go. Like nudie branch ogres. Yeah, I I'm digging the microcosm element. Like, it has, like, this little vignette of, like, looking through a microscope sometimes. Boss Rage Quit. Explosive Boomerang. For every two consecutive times you deflect the boomerang and increase the de- Release the damaging explosion. Ooh. Increases in size the more- Do we want a really big boomerang while we deflect our boomerang, or do we want a exploding boomerang? I'm- I'm more of a explosion man myself. But I could be talked into a big boomerang. <laughs> Big boomerang, you really do come back. <laughs> Make big, all right. Big boomerang it is, you got it. Take me, water bear. All right, so now we have an interesting choice. We got either get rest and restore health or trade cells you required for useful upgrades. Obviously I'm going here. All right, grants a mutation to add to your DNA board. Piercing projectiles. Deflect projectiles pass through enemies, increasing their damage the more enemies they hit. Summon Blossom, a bot that periodically shoots nearby enemies, dealing attack damage. We have two Blossoms here. Buttercup! Increases your core attributes. I mean, I'm taking Blossom here for 250. Oh, one's fire, one's ice, you're right. We'll have a fire Blossom, because we also have, uh... We also got this here, Unstable Cells. Although it's not my primary weapon, so it's not a great synergy, but still. But still! And it looks like if we had more money, we could have bought another thing. That boomerang is pretty big, guys. I don't think I can put that back in my pocket. Is this the big size? Three, four... Looks like five might be max size. Doesn't look like it's getting bigger after five. But it's still pretty big, pretty big. All right, now our choice is no choice. Upgrade. Survive long enough, you'll be able to <laughs> upgrade a mutation. Whoa. And if you don't survive long enough, you die. I don't like the floor being spikes. Oh, God. It's a level of the floor is fucking lava. I have to look at so much. Five seconds, come on. Come on, just five seconds. 
I hope I get my health back. Nope. Oh boy. Deflect four projectiles, grant you a shield. That's an upgrade or upgrade blossom. Upgrade the damage dealt by the bots increased. Well, I hope we have a healy thing soon. <laughs> Ow! Oh, thank God, there is a healy thing after. Exterminate all threats to obtain a core attribute. Exterminate all threats to obtain a mutation. I think I want a mutation. So as the fucking floor is not lava. Come over here, bud. Love just throwing beach ball at him. Blossom. Way to go. Deflect four more projectiles so we can upgrade. We can get bubbles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are they actually the Powerpuff Girls? I was joking about Blossoms when I said Buttercup, but now we have bubbles. We have to get all three. We have to get all three of the Powerpuff Girls here. Summon bubbles, a bot that periodically deflects projectiles. What will Buttercup do? All right, we have a deflecting bot. Like, obviously we got, we gotta get, we gotta get Buttercup. There has to be a Buttercup. There's no fucking way there's no Buttercup. We got a heal here, which is very nice after that spike-filled nightmare room. Yeah, Bubbles is my favorite, too. Where are you? At? Where, where are my friends here? There we are. Oh, he charged into me. Oh, big boy bullets. Where are those come from? Oh, there's more friends spawning. I see now. I see. Come on, where's the other friends? Just 50 cells there? I mean, nice if we get to another shot. Alright, room affected by anomaly. Eliminate all threats to get a mutation or trade cells. I'd like to go shopping, I think. Although, if we do this room, we get a mutation and then we get growth and then there's the boss. But who knows what we could buy? It could be anything. Deflecting is based on where I'm aiming. So I have, I have to like rotate, make sure I'm going the right way. Orbital disc. Killing an enemy close to you summons a disc that spins around you. Ah, oh, that would have been cool. Too bad we don't have enough room. Or enough money, rather. When you damage an enemy at maximum health with your main weapon, you heal. Wait, what? You deal additional damage based on your health attribute, I see. Next enemy hit with your primary weapon after you deflect takes bonus damage. Looks like we just get to increase an attribute. Let's increase our attack attribute. We're up to 18% now. I was hoping to see Buttercup, I'm not gonna lie. I came here just for Buttercup opportunity. Not today. Where'd you go? Hmm. 
cosmic boomerang pick. Damn it! We passed off a wall near me. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't want to have these people blow up on me. That is a cheap move, you little bastard. I'm not walking across the red stuff because on the other level, the red stuff made spikes and I'm afraid of it. Less than half health for the boss fight. That makes me a little, a little concerned. Just a wee bit concerned. Oh, oh. Ooh, I see. I see how this is going to go. mysterious samurai look at his little hands he has such little hands not bad don't be alarmed i'm venator i've been keeping a close eye on you i could definitely hold you could definitely hold your own against these visceral creatures you have no idea how many they've killed i also help deflect or by doing field work I've dedicated myself to observing Apex viruses and learning how we can use their great power for our own benefit. This is a nucleus extractor. It will activate right at the moment you kill these monstrous beasts, extracting a part of their core before they start to regenerate. In fact, you have one right there. Achievement unlocked Hunter. It looks like that's a little bit of a Bloodborne reference in the achievement art that you can't see. Bone Whirlwind. Noun. Archaic. A hunter. <laughs> well, that makes sense. Bone Whirlwind. Using your active ability surrounds you with a whirlwind of bones that deal damage based on your health attribute. Interesting. Active ability. I imagine that's a new button for us. Looks like a Diablo 2 spell. V Venator! Venator, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, I wanted to, wanted to hang out with Venator. <laughs> oh, God, I was hoping to get more health after that. Oh, shit! Weren't we supposed to do something if we killed the boss? Oh, we were supposed to look for a hidden path after we killed the boss! Damn it! I hope it wasn't there. I hope it was in a different area. All right, the Toxic Sea sounds poison. The Hollow Hive sounds like bugs. Magnetic Fields. Let's see what some Magnetic Fields are all about. Oh, what's not a new button? I see. Right, spider boss. Oh, we should have gone to the hive. The hive would have been probably where the spider boss is at. Came to the wrong place. I made mean, a 15 health. I'm a little concerned anyway. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, they mentioned where, but I don't remember. Like, just boss, I remember. Oh, they start with a heal. That's nice. That's good for me. Not good enough, but good. Oh, 
Oh, neat. Well, goodbye, damage orb. That's fun. About bouncing my peer. Oh uh, no, I'll definitely forget about the spider part. That's just a given. You son of a bitch. Enjoy the bone wheel, motherfuckers! Killing enemy close to you summons a disc that spins around you for some time, dealing damage based on your attack, or deflect forward to get a longer lasting shield. Let's just get more stuff. Upgrading is probably the right answer, but more stuff is just fun. We have 250, which means we should be able to afford at least one thing. Buttercup, buttercup. Just taking damage causes you to release a wave that destroys projectiles and deals damage based on your health attributes. Deflecting three or more projectiles restores a dash charge. Taking damage summons a decoy that distracts nearby enemies and deflects projectiles, dealing damage based on your health attribute. Let's take this one. Take damage abilities or trap. They're less of a trap and more of a like, if a bad thing happens, there's at least an upside, you know? That's how I usually think about those. Like, you don't want to take them and then purposely take damage. But they make it so like, if you do take damage, at least it's not that bad. Walks right through that, whoops. Bouncing your thing back is great. Sleep well, mighty Odin. And I'll see you on Wednesday. Killing an enemy summons a laser orb for a few seconds. The orb attacks nearby enemies, dealing damage based on your attack, or killing an enemy generates a bomb that orbits around you and explodes on contact with an enemy. I think I might take the Tesla orb. Just because it sounds like I might have more range to it. The hell is this? Lightning's chasing me. Oh no, don't let it touch me. Oh my god. There's so many scary things on this level. I mean, for a first run, we, we did fairly well, I would say. A new mutation can now be found in future experiments. The projectile storm. While your active skill is charged, every attack releases several projectiles that damage nearby enemies, dealing damage based on your attack attribute. This effect only triggers every few seconds. When hit by a deflected projectile, distant enemies have a chance to be struck by lightning, dealing damage based on your deflect. 
When entering a room, you receive a shield that blocks incoming damage for a few seconds. If the shield remains intact at the end of that time, it explodes, releasing a wave that destroys projectiles and deals damage based on your health attribute. I I dig this one. This is a nice one. Fires is making a laser chase me. Yes, the virus is doing that. Certainly that is the case. Complete the game once to unlock a Bioshell proficiency. Yes, they are in fact all characters we can unlock. So we are Eradicator. They're Slasher, Spark, Corrupted, Light Fist, and Gunslinger. May attack Boomerang, Deflect, Boomerang Fury, and Swiftness. Neat. Uh, we have 650 something up there. So let's select this and see if there's a way to spend that. Hunter trophies. So we have Bone Whirlwind, Spinning Sword, Rock Skin, Living Tentacles. I don't know what any of that means. Can we spend our DNA strand stuff? That's what I'm curious about right now. Another iteration dead, but don't worry, you'll get used to it. The good part is that you remembered everything, so you're now stronger and better than before. But let me explain how I can come in handy to you. All the DNA samples you have collected were safely extracted. The more you collect, the more we learn about the viruses, allowing me to develop new ways to fight it. Please proceed to the upper, to the upgrade station for a demonstration. You sleep well, Mona. Here, you can acquire upgrades, both permanent and activated. These upgrades will grant you effects that will help you during the experiment. Now, let me introduce you to our main worker. Unlocks the Healing Stream, a healing device in the Nexus that allows you to restore 20% of your health between zones. 200 for that. Restore five health points each time you complete a mutation room. When your health is below 30%, you deal 15% more damage. Increases the chance of applying any altered states by 20% for three seconds after killing an enemy. We'll chat with this guy before I make my purchases, just in case. This is Carlos. He'll be providing you with useful data about your research progress. I recommend you talk to him when you have the time. That's it for now. More assets will await you later in after I deem them safe for use. Alphabetical categorization was rejected, meaning I'll need to get back to organizing them by the number of cores again. But then that breaks the order of acquisitions because... Ah, uh, it's you. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Carlos. And my duty here is to collect samples from the zones and analyze them. Why? Well, because we need to make sure that we understand what we're fighting. But now, with you around, I no longer need to perform field duties. Talk to me again anytime you wish to view your current research progress. In the meantime, I'll go categorize creatures by the number of legs they have. Or eyes, perhaps, or stripes. Hmm. Do I spend stuff in here? No, it's just letting us see, like, what we have gotten so far. Permanent Enhancement Tree seems kind of boring slash lackluster. Doesn't seem like a big upgrade tree. I imagine, as he said, there's more stuff we're going to be getting as we play. There's probably going to be other trees. This is just our first one. Or I could be wrong, I don't know. But he definitely said more stuff is coming. Buttercup! Alright. We have confirmed Buttercup's existence. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got, we got, we got Blossom, shoots based on attack. Bubbles, deflects based on deflects. Buttercup, a bot that has a chance to heal you for an amount equal to the damage taken from a single source. I feel like I would swap Buttercup and Blossom. Like, Buttercup's the bruiser. Blossom's the leader, like, the leader should be healing. Or Bubbles, even. Bubbles healing would make sense. Maybe Buttercup for attack, Bubbles for healing, Blossom for deflection. That's how I would do it. And Bliss, a bot that sticks to enemies and deals damage over time based on your attack. All right, there's two more robots for us to find. 
I love the microscope vignette here. Uh, I'll definitely take heal between zones. Sell exchange rooms now at 50% chance of having an additional selling slot with a discount. But I think I also want restore five health points each time you complete a mutation room. There we go. All right. I just wanted to pop in and take a look at this one for like an hour, and that is what we have accomplished. Because I really do want to play a little bit more Resident Evil 4 tonight, even if I'm just playing like for an hour. It's going to be an extra long stream because I've already had dinner while I was streaming. So I don't need to go eat. Allowing me to go for another like hour or a half, maybe two hours. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I am a sleepy boy. But at the very least, we're going to get an hour of uh, Resident Evil in here. 4%! All right. If we took one hour to get 4%, that means in roughly 100,000 hours. I can't math. At least you're not salty. It's true, at least I'm not filled with salt right now. I would like to exit the game. Oh, there we go, we have to choose one before we can exit.